Oh. Hello. Uh, thought I'd put another video up. In case anybody's interested. I got my project uh, fully sheeted. You know, that'd be the front. That'd be back, but uh, fiddling with uh, this up on top here is coming a new bow. I'll come, I'll because I want something a little bev beveled. You know, pointed in the front. That the idea. I was thinking about uh, making a stern wheeler, and I think the back half or the front half would be a better rear, especially for uh, putting a big rudder back there. And with a narrow front end, probably go through the water better. I mean, a whole lot of light in here. It's fully sheeted. It's getting a little bit heavy now. Uh, here's a model of, before I built the thing, I actually fooled around with what the, what the idea would be. Pretty much I've built it. But here's another model I got. This is of a utility tug. Designed by a guy named uh, Tugboat Joe. Builds model tugs. And he's an expert on the subject. And you go on the internet, look him up. He's got a lot of great looking models. You see, this one's kind of beveled inwards, and that's where I'm thinking about going with my boat. Kind of like the way that looks the inside. Yep. Now this thing's turning into a workbench too. There's a lot of trimming. Found the router comes in really handy in trimming the edges. Uh, got the shaft for the uh, um, paddle wheel right here. Guy gave it to me. It's about a half inch solid steel shaft with uh, a pulley on the bottom already and three movable uh, mountable ball bearings on it. I think that'll be just about right. Uh, excuse the bad pictures. Uh, I'm not good at videotaping. But right now it's about 14 foot and I'm thinking about adding another four three foot to it. I still can pick it up and move it around, so it ain't bad. I'm still gonna have to get my, a trailer. I've been trimming down the edges and um, hopefully in, when it gets a little warmer out, I'll do a full fiberglass on it. That'd probably be a little expensive. Uh, thing got a little out of hand. <laughs> but if I get it all together and in the water, it should be quite an experience. Alright, thanks for taking a look.